Yeah, you're, so, so the only thing, the point of self-referencing is that it's, it tends to be unconscious. It's an unconscious, unconscious reference to you, which then if you're in relationship with a group or another, I think the thing you should do is see your wife's name. Yeah. yeah. Just notice her. Now, now, notice what happens if you, I bet if you paid attention to, next time you catch yourself doing it unconsciously, just kind of digging in there, notice what it's doing to her. Notice. And the impact we have, self-referencing is a ripple that literally closes a space if it's done unconsciously. If it's done consciously, it has very little effect on the space. Right. So let's say we use your slow movement. Yeah. So like I can do it in a way that's not going to interfere as much. Uh, yeah. And just feel the space. It helps me so much. Yeah. Feel and, the space. And, I mean, moving energy and like popping and cracking. And yeah. You've got a body. I mean, I have so much trauma in my body. You've got a ton of energy in your body and a ton. Yeah. You're right. I agree, man. So n the practice will be for you when you're with a group or when you're with uh, your partner or your kids, right? Just notice the impact on them. So for example, if I had something going on and I was talking to you and I was doing this, you'd probably trust me less, right. even though it feels fucking good, yeah. right? And the point of self-referencing, you know, I'm gonna just keep doing it, man, because it feels so good. And <clears throat> self-referencing is around what I want, what I need, right? it's not necessarily what the moment is calling for. So sometimes the moment might not be calling for you to be paying attention to your own trauma. Yeah, I mean, my kids call me all the time. We're out to dinner, I'm sitting at their table, like, uh, and they're right. just like, Dad, please stop. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, like, they're, so they're, they're telling, exactly. Yeah. So life is telling you, stop self-referencing on your own trauma. I mean, I'm sure you do have trauma, yeah. but I doubt you need <clears throat> to attend to it 24 seven. Right. Yeah. yeah. So then it becomes pleasure or selfish pleasure. Yeah, or, or unconscious self-referencing, right? And, um, yeah, just my, that was an unconscious scratch right there. I didn't need to do that. That probably fucked up the room. I mean, half the room but, but was traumatized by my scratching my ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. So, so we're all doing it. We're all doing it, you know. Uh, but I can tell you that over the course of, you know, 10, almost 12 years of doing this now, 12 years of doing this now, that I have not, uh, I have totally changed physically my capacity to stay still is much different yeah i mean my, the last couple of years has been profound yeah like opening my body I yeah i make about hoping some soon it's gonna like i will have to do that. well notice what's happening to you now like notice that how deep is your breath while you're talking so your desire to self-reference is going to be directly related to how slow and deep your breath is you guys feel that mm -hmm. for all of us you slow down your breath, you relax your body, all of a sudden that need to attend to yourself is lessened. Mm 